Many of the people in your care may be able to shave on their own if you bring the necessary supplies. Others will need your help. Shaving can be accomplished with a safety razor or an electric razor. Consult with the nurse or check the person's care plan before using a safety razor. If the person has a medical condition or is taking a medication that increases risk for bleeding, you'll use an electric razor instead. Begin by completing your preparation steps. Wash your hands, gather your supplies, and provide for the person's privacy. Come in. Good morning, Mr. Green. Good morning. Hi, I was here to help you with a shave. Is that okay with you? It's great. Uh, I'm expecting some folks. Oh, good. Okay. Well, why don't I just get set up? Okay. Cover the overbed table with paper towels or other barrier and arrange your supplies. To help a person shave with a safety razor, you will need a wash basin, a bath thermometer, gloves, a mirror, washcloths and towels, after shave lotion if the person uses it, shaving cream, gel or soap, and a safety razor. I'll be right back. Okay. Fill the wash basin with warm water. Check the water temperature with the bath thermometer and verify that it is between 100 degrees Fahrenheit and 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Raise the bed to a comfortable working height for good body mechanics, and then raise the head of the bed so that the person is in high Fowler's position. Unfold a towel and place it across the person's chest. Then put on the gloves. Inspect the area to be shaved for moles, birthmarks, or sores to avoid scraping them. Okay, that's good. Use a warm, wet washcloth to soften the beard. Some people may prefer to wash the face with soap and water before shaving. Apply shaving cream, gel, or soap to the person's face. Okay, I'll just be applying the shaving cream to your face. With the fingers of one hand, Hold the person's skin on the cheek tight as you use the razor to shave downward in the direction the hair grows. Shave both cheeks, rinsing the razor often in the wash basin. Doing okay? Great. All right. If you could just um, tighten the skin over your upper lip, thank you. Use shorter strokes to shave above the upper lip and the chin. And keep the bottom lip tight as well. That's good. Can you just tilt your head up a little bit? Yeah. To shave the neck, have the person tip his head back. Pull the skin tight and shave the neck, moving the razor up toward the chin. Okay, all set. Rinse the person's face using a wet washcloth, then pat it dry with a towel. Now I just want to wash off the extra shaving cream and make sure your face is nice and clean.
right, we're done. Give the person the mirror so he can check his appearance. What do you think? Hmm. Feels good. <laughs> Looks good. Great. Help the person apply aftershave lotion if desired. Finish with your completion steps. Ensure the person's comfort and safety. Clean up your work area and wash your hands. Electric razors carry less risk of nicking the skin and causing bleeding and are preferred for people who have medical conditions or are taking medications that affect the blood's ability to clot. Check with the nurse before using an electric razor in a room where a person is receiving oxygen therapy because an electrical spark could ignite a fire. Begin by washing your hands and gathering your supplies. Come in. Provide for the person's privacy. Hi, Mr. Peng. Are you ready for your shave now? Yeah. All right, I'll go get the rest of your supplies. Okay. Cover the overbed table with paper towels or other barrier and arrange your supplies. A wash basin, an electric razor, pre-shave lotion, gloves, a mirror, aftershave lotion if the person uses it, a bath thermometer, and washcloths and towels. Remember that an electric razor is an electrical appliance. Inspect the razor before using it to make sure it is operating normally. Fill the wash basin with warm water. Use the bath thermometer to check the water temperature and verify that it is between 100 degrees Fahrenheit and 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Raise the bed to a comfortable working height for good body mechanics and then raise the head of the bed so that the person is in high Fowler's position. Unfold a towel and place it across the person's chest. Then put on the gloves. Inspect the area to be shaved for moles, birthmarks, or sores to avoid scraping them. If the person likes to wash his face before shaving, help him with that now. Pat the person's face dry before applying pre-shave lotion. Now, Mr. Peng, you like to use pre-shave lotion, correct? Yes. Okay. Apply pre-shave lotion if the person uses it. With the fingers of one hand, hold the person's skin tight. Use the electric razor to shave as the manufacturer suggests, usually in a circular motion. Shave both cheeks. above the upper lip, the chin, and the neck. Rinse the person's face using a wet washcloth. Then pat it dry with a towel.
Give the person the mirror so he can check his appearance. You did a pretty good job, a pretty clean shave. Would you like some aftershave lotion? Yes. Okay. Help the person apply aftershave lotion if desired. Finish by ensuring the person's comfort and safety. And as always, wash your hands.